Melanie Ramos, a 15-year-old student who died of a drug overdose this week at Helen Bernstein High School in Hollywood, loved to travel, dreamed of one day joining the Army and was best friends with her sisters. Full of life, is how a family member described her, and as far as they knew, Melanie. They shut themselves out and they don't want to be social, not even with family members, but that wasn't the case here, said Gladys Menriques, a family member who spoke on their behalf. She was very respectful, and she made sure she let her mom know where she was at all times. On Friday, Melanie's family, and an entire school community, were reeling from the girl's death. The teen and a friend are believed to have bought pills containing deadly fentanyl from a 15-year-old boy on campus who has been arrested on suspicion of manslaughter. Melanie's body was found in a school bathroom, a jarring breach of the haven that schools are expected to provide in a young death that casts a harsh spotlight on the exploding fentanyl pill drug crisis in Los Angeles. I think we were failed in many directions, Manrique said. This pill is poison. I call it the devil pill, and it's going to continue unless you start breaking down the chain. In the aftermath, top city leaders, Mayor Eric Garcetti, L. A. Police Chief Michelle Moore and School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho, have pledged urgent action as on-the-ground law enforcement officials bluntly describe the massive and dangerous influx of drugs. One pill kills, said LAPD Captain. Lillian Carranza, who oversees the Gang and Narcotics Division, adding that the term fentanyl laced is a weak misnomer. It is straight up fentanyl. It is not laced with fentanyl. We recovered hundreds, if not thousands, of pills a day, 10, 000 pills every other day isn't unusual for drugs that are cheap to make and transport and pushed hard by drug dealers in the cartels.